I have a feature on my blog every Monday called On My Desk, and one Monday there was a photo of my series Bible, and I got a lot of questions on Facebook and Tumblr and Twitter about what is my series Bible, or people who already knew what it was, but they wanted to know how to set up one. So I thought I would kind of explain how I make it and what it is. Everyone can kind of make it their own way, but when you're plotting a series, it's much more complicated because if you have a lot of places, you end up needing to keep track of them and your characters. So I have sections. I have a general timeline. And as I'm writing, um, mostly when I'm done writing, I go back and figure out my real timeline and when everything happened and I keep track of it. That way, if I want to reference how many days passed, I know I have sections for characters and the, the Legion is actually a character. And it tells me, you know, their ages, if I've described them physically, what kind of clothes they wear, if I've mentioned anything they're afraid of. It has kind of some backstory also that I don't always include in the books, but at least like here's Jared. At least I remember if someone has a scar, if somebody always wears, you know, a frayed t-shirt. At one point I forgot what color pre-sweatshirt was, so I had to go back. Um, some of my favorite sections are, I also do locations important objects but this one's really cool like in mine I have symbols these actually some of them appear in the book and some of them I reference like this is from a really old grimoire and I just photocopied it so that when I'm describing the symbol in the book I actually can look at the picture and know what it says I have um, what else? I have samples from the journals. Music is really important in the Legion series, actually in everything that I write. And I, I have a list of all the songs that I mention. And if there's a specific context, like um, Velvet Revolver is really important. And um, the Foo Fighters Home is Kennedy's favorite song. So for context, I have it explained that that's her favorite song, when I introduced that idea. And then, I have another one for like the second book. So I create this one and then when I move on to book two, if I have any, here's the, here's the timeline again, but if I have any new characters, I add them in here so that I can actually figure out, especially like a book, the series like Beautiful Creatures was so long. Sometimes it was difficult to actually remember which book we introduced a specific character. So this way, whenever I do a series, uh, I can go back and look. It's really a cheat sheet for old people like me who cannot remember anything. And I have ancestors. That became really important in Beautiful Creatures and Dangerous Creatures because in BC we have uh, timelines and we have the family trees inside. I don't have those in everything though. Dangerous Creatures has no, um, has no family tree and neither does Unbreakable. So I actually had to write it all out so I'd remember who is your great-great-grandfather, who's your aunt. And I have all my other, I think that you can really, you can include anything you want though. If some people include samples of the way characters speak, like if someone has an accent, if they drop certain words, it's called a character dictionary. And you can have a sample from your book of the way that the person actually talks. I do that in some of them. Locations are really important. But what's nice about this is when you write your first book, you're creating all of this and you have it all in your mind. You know what everything looks like. By the time you're writing the second book or revising the second book, it's usually a year later. So unless you have an elephant's memory, you're gonna forget a lot of details that you described and you're gonna either have to go through the physical book or back through your files and find all that information. So this way I can just leave it out and when I'm revising and I'm actually correcting things, I just go back and find the information.